Sims 4 has been quiet again after fixes were finally released for the wedding pack and hopefully the latest updates didn't break too many simmers of mods or CC. But where does the story of Sims 4 in 2022 come next? A brand new survey points us to a familiar series of a type of Sims 4 content without gameplay. Before we get started, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, base game updates, reviews, and also Paralives updates. My question for you today is, what type of survey do you actually think could be useful for the Sims team to help improve the Sims 4? So as you can probably tell by the length of this video, this is not a very great survey. This survey is one that some Simmers received, and while I do like that the Sims 4 team is asking for feedback, I must say that this one doesn't exactly thrill me, but let's see what they're asking about. So I will leave the link to the survey below in case you are really interested in taking this, but trust me, it's not that exciting. The first question asks, which of the following kits do you own? Carnival Street Kit or Decor to the Max? Which I think it's really interesting that they only asked about those two and not any of the other kits, at least on my link. And so of course I put none of the above. Now I will say I actually have bought a Sims 4 kit before. I did buy it for a friend, but I currently do not own any, nor do I plan to ever own a Sims 4 kit for myself. So on the next screen, you are taken to ask about a certain kit and I got the Carnival Streetwear Kit. Select all that apply. Which of the following describes your feelings towards the Carnival Streetwear kit? I've heard or seen negative feedback about the kit. I was not aware that there was such a kit. I don't like the theme of the kit. The kit doesn't offer enough things to do or new ways to play. I don't know enough about this kit. I would consider buying this kit in the future. I want other packs or kits more like this one. I like packs rather than kits. I don't need more content. I like the theme, but the contents don't appeal to me. Now, if I had really read through carefully, I would have also selected that I like packs more than kits. Actually, once you submit it, that's it. You can't retake it. So I put that the kit doesn't offer new things to do, such as new ways to play. And what I really meant by that is it's not really giving us any substantial content, which I would say is the nature of kits itself. So that's really it for the survey. I was only asked those two questions. Now again, it's possible that if you go in, you might be asked more questions based upon that first answer. I assume they do a random sample, one of the two kits, and maybe if I'd selected that I bought all of them, I would be asked more questions. But it is clear that they are wanting to know how to increase sales for Sims 4 kits, and they are bound and determined to make more Sims 4 kits. Now I'm pretty sure I've talked about kits enough on my channel to bore all of you, but I will say I think it's very likely that the main team is not primarily working on kits as much as maybe the work is partially outsourced, you know, contract workers. And I guess the plus side, if there is one of kits, is that build buy kits and cast kits are unlikely to cause more bugs or glitches. But honestly, Sims 4 gameplay still could use, of course, more pack refreshes. I thought they did an excellent job with Spa Day, and I would love to see yet another one. And I will say that those things really add a lot more to the game, obviously, than kits. I really hope that in 2022, we get some more pack refreshes. We get some more substantial base game updates. I will say again that Neighborhood Stories, it does have some problems, but I'm still glad we got it because it's a sign that they're trying to invest in the Sims 4 game. With me, I feel like Sims 4 is often like a roller coaster. You know, we get some positive updates and signs that they're really trying to improve the game. And then we get things like the wedding pack where it was completely broken. So my hope in 2022 is that we are going to get another pack refresh, going to get some substantial gameplay, and of course continue to work on bug fixes. I think that kits are going to happen regardless, and I think maybe they would sell better if they are having trouble selling them. I don't know. I think they would sell better if the context in which they are being sold was better. Number one, I still think that Sims 4 kits are too expensive. It's not that the items in the kits are bad. I actually sometimes think that the items are well done. But I think that the price point is too high. And number two, again, I think it's just because maybe people would be more interested in the build by kits if we had a better basis for Sims 4. Then again, a lot of people enjoy building in The Sims 4 the most, so it's kind of a catch-22 in that regard. But I've gone on long enough about this stupid little survey. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day, and hopefully I will have more substantial news for you in the future. See you next time. Bye.